places. All right, the U.S. Supreme Court is siding with Republicans in the battle over presidential recess appointments. Now, the justices unanimously found that the appointments without Senate confirmation were simply illegal. The president had invoked his power to make temporary appointments when the Senate is in recess, but the court found that there wasn't actually a formal recess at that time. We should all be thankful then that the Supreme Court has reined in this kind of lawlessness on the part of this administration. And it should also bring some confidence that at least from time to time, maybe not as often as our constituents think so, that the checks and balances of government do work. Now, the ruling could undo hundreds of decisions made by the National Labor Relations Board, which regulates unions in this country. So we want to talk more about this. Joining me more, uh, to uh, tell us what this ruling actually means is uh, political analyst John Dating. Good morning to you. Good morning. Boom on the president. He was, uh, he did get, uh, he has to take this as a defeat, but then they want to turn it around. So tell us what happened. Yesterday. Clearly it's a defeat. I mean, do you remember his famous quote earlier this year that I've got a phone, I've got a pen? Well, r what really happened is he tried to push this too much mm -hmm. and it is coming back to backfire on him. Okay, so what, what happened was he made these appointments when the Senate was in these three-day recesses and the U.S. Supreme Court decided that's not really a recess. Really, the reason why the president has his power is when the Senate is in recess mm -hmm. so things can move forward. However, clearly what this president tried to do is he tried to do it because he couldn't get the appointments through the regular process. And that's really what the logic was behind this decision. So it was kind of a double ruling yesterday. That first part we've been, we, we, we told uh, the, our viewers, but the second part is what? Well, it, it, it hurts two ways. First of all, it hurts this current president, but what it does, because the Supreme Court ruled, it sets a precedent. Now, all future presidents are going to have to be under this. That's right. really why it hurts the executive branch. But the other part is the Labor Board is going to have to go back, relook at several yeah. hundred decisions. And why that's important is because while they're doing that, that puts all their current decisions on hold. Okay, but the decision yesterday, they said three days, not. but if it's a 10-day recess, then you can continue to do it. The decision okay. yesterday was yeah. unanimous on the three-day. However, there was split opinions, and the conservative uh, justices said it shouldn't even be uh, 10 days. It should be that he shouldn't be able to do this unless they're in formal recess. That's what the big difference is. Okay, so let's let's talk about the the implications, complications from this, uh, as you were bringing up a moment ago. Uh, let's look what it did does for the past. You're talking about this National Labor Relations. They make decisions all the time. Now those are in jeopardy. There was about a year and a half period from when he made this to when they did have a bona fide uh, Senate confirmation on the other appointees. Mm -hmm. So for that year and a half, all those decisions need to be relooked. If they do that, that takes away from their current agenda. Also keep in mind, when I say this ripple effects, looming is the November elections mm -hmm. with the possibility that Republicans may t take over the Senate. And there is at least one labor appointment coming up uh, right at that time. So these are all the type of implications that the Democrats are very, very nervous. Does it have any at all uh, implications on executive, his his powers of executive order? Oh, other, than, other than just these appointments? Oh, absolutely. With, without a doubt. Again, with some of the, in the majority of uh, opinion of this, what they said was this, you know, there has been recess appointments going back to George Washington. Mm -hmm. So they were afraid if they overruled it completely, including the 10-day, you know, it would set uh, 200 years of presidents. So that is how important this is. This was very political as far as da right down Republican and, and Democrat lines, right? Pre pretty much. But again, the way most people are describing this, which I would agree, is this is the separation of powers that the uh, legislative branch is pushing back. Mm -hmm. Again, when he made his comment, I've got a phone, I've got a pen, that didn't sit well. That didn't sit well with a lot of constitutional scholars. And so now you're seeing the pushback. And like I said, a lot of these Supreme Court justices are Obama appointees. Right. So the fact was unanimous is very important. All right. John Dadian, thank you very much Good for your analysis. We appreciate it. Summer, uh,